I don't even know if I remember how to do this. Hey, what's up you guys? It's me again and it has been a while. I wish there was a good excuse for me not uploading, but the truth was that I kind of fell out of love with creating my YouTube content and creating videos and that sort of thing, and I just kind of switched platforms. So if you're still interested to see in what I'm creating, um, follow me over on TikTok. We've created somewhat of a following there. I'm gonna link everything in the bio like I usually do, but it was important to me that I make this video. Now, one of my most iconic videos, as others like to say, is my junior, no, my sophomore year review. My sophomore year review, because I didn't do my junior year review. My sophomore year review, um, and people have been asking me, hey, are we gonna get a junior year review? Are we gonna get a senior year review? And the answer to that is yes. So as you can obviously tell by the title of the video, this is my senior year review. I'm actually filming this the day I graduate, so, um, it's pretty exciting. I'm really, really excited for this to finally be happening and finally getting to see all my hard work pay off. So I'm very excited about that, but I think I should just get right into it. Okay, so let's start talking about senior year. Obviously, it was very different because we were in the middle of a global pandemic and still are in the pandemic. I chose to do classes virtually this year which was a decision I made because I was dealing with some pretty serious medical issues and we just thought it would be easier for me to stay home and deal with those kind of things. But virtual learning was actually a great benefit for me. It allowed me to really have my own control on... Come here, Cosmo, you wanna come say hi? Come here. I have a new puppy. Uh, so before I go any further, this is Cosmo. He is our new puppy. Um, he's five months old and he is the love of my life. Hi! Mm, go play. As I was saying, definitely dealt with some pretty serious medical issues this year. Luckily things are starting to, to clear up, but um, it was a very challenging year and I think I didn't really talk about it with a lot of people how difficult it was. And um, I'm just glad I made it through and that things are starting to clear up and get better and that's the most important part. With the challenge of senior year mixed in with the pandemic, there was definitely a strain put on my social life. So I hadn't really talked about it because I never made a junior year review, but I... <laughs> I promised I would hold no punches with this video and I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Basically my entire friend group or the group I used to hang out with decided that there was no longer really a space for me anymore and it's not just on them, I had started distancing myself from the group because there were a lot of attitudes and a lot of behaviors and a lot of selfishness that I was not going to be a part of. And that was definitely a difficult decision, but I'm so happy that I made that decision. A large part of this decision was also the fact that there was a lot of fakeness and talking about people behind each other's backs and just like petty, petty behavior that I wanted no part of. And it's really disappointing because I've been with these people since freshman year. I thought that we were a great group of people, but, um, and this doesn't go for everybody in the group. This just goes based on what I felt and saw. Um, people change. Things are said that they can't take back. And I knew that I did not want to stay with a group of people where I had to feel like I needed to suck up and still be disrespected. It was also a matter of like being excluded a lot from like smaller things and like still see like there'd be like a party or something on social media that I'd see and it was like very clear that everybody else was there and I was not invited and it just really 
I feel like a big thing people don't realize is that their actions have consequences and that they are not thinking about the other people they might be hurting by what they're doing. I don't think anything was ever done with malintent, but it still hurts to be excluded. If there's one good thing that came out of this situation is that I learned how to be independent and how to take care of myself, which is a very good tool that I can use for college. And moving on to my next topic, college. I am going to a university in my state and I'm very excited about it. I'm majoring in English and I already have my roommate and I've already started talking to some people. And I think that college is going to be a great experience for me to start over and truly be myself and not worry about what other people think about me. Cause that's all that I did through high school. All I did through high school was worry about, I'm not being included in this group. I'm not being seen by this group. Like everybody's always judging me. And I spent so many years worrying about like what people thought of me. And this year I felt like I really started to own myself and own who I am as a person. And when I stopped giving a about what people thought about me, I became 10 times happier. I think one of the biggest things I learned from high school was it's okay to be alone. It's not always easy to be alone, but sometimes being by yourself and being who you are is better than having to be something else and pretend. Like I always felt like, especially like, in my group, in my drama club, like in everything, in all the people that were surrounded around me, I always felt like I had to be something that I wasn't and that I was constantly vying for their attentions when I realized that the only attention they were gonna give me was negative attention and negative attitude. Hi. The only attention I was going to be receiving was negativity or sarcasm or just snark. And it was so disappointing because like some of the girls that I had even been really close friends with just just turned their back on me. And I it's just it's disappointing because some of the girls that I considered really close friends for the past three years decided that it would be easier to follow along with the status quo and give in to this negativity and this and this bullying rather than be their true selves, which then again, maybe their true selves involved this negativity. I don't want to just focus on the negativity because I, I did have a good high school experience aside from like all the social stuff. I was able to pick myself up off the ground and get good grades and graduate with honors and find out who I am. I didn't want to be known in high school as just MLA or just like another girl in the class when I when I wanted people to look back and think of me I wanted people to think that I was a good friend that I was honest that I stood up for what I believed and that they could rely on me and I think what hurts the most is that I didn't really felt like I was ever given that chance and I'm trying not to make this sound like a whole pity party thing but like um, I'm trying to be honest I thought the worst thing in the world was that I would have to be alone but then I realized that the best choice that I could have made was being alone and when I be and when I made that choice and when I stepped away and when I finally became started to become the person that I want to be is when true characters are revealed and the people who are meant to be in my life came into my life. I will say as the end of my senior year drew to a close, I was able to really look back on and enjoy some of the memories that I have made, especially at some of my senior outings. Um, I went to my senior yearbook signing the other night and I just was talking to some, talking to some guys like um, Harry Waterbury, our valedictorian, and my good friend Aiden, and these were guys that I had never really spoken to or had a super close relationship other than sarcasm, but experience kind of made me realize that I could have a positive relationship and a positive experience and that my high school career wasn't 
for not. Like, I did manage to accomplish something. I know that when people are going to look back at these high school yearbooks in 20 years, they're going to see me and they're going to remember, oh, that was that girl who had a YouTube channel or did all the theater stuff or stuff like that. And I don't know, it, ma it makes me happy because I think I finally realized that not everybody viewed me in a negative light. And I think that's something I definitely needed to hear. Um, so I guess the big question is what comes next? I'm going off to school. I'm going to be working this summer. I'm going to be spending time with family and friends and just really trying to enjoy my last summer before I step into the real world. I don't know how many connections I'm going to keep after I'm done with high school. I don't even know what I'm going to be doing with all of this stuff, but I know whatever I do, I'm going to try and make myself as happy as possible. And I think that's all that really matters. So, senior year has come to a close. I am done with high school and now I'm moving on to bigger and better things and there are some key people who have made a huge impact on my life and have changed me for the better and I've spoken with them separately but I, I think the one thing I take away from all of this is a person's true character will determine whether or not they have a place in your life and whether you have a place in theirs and that character should never be forced. I just want you guys to know that for all of you who have stuck with me all of these years, thank you. I don't know whether or not I will be making another YouTube video anytime soon, but please go check me out on TikTok, MLay and Max. I'll be linking it in the bio. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you guys. Um, go check me out on TikTok. It's MLay and Max. I do cosplay videos, which is pretty cool. And I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you lovelies later.